After weeks of hectic campaigning, Benazir Bhutto spent today in her home constituency of Lakhana. 400 miles north of Karachi, it's the ancestral home of the Bhutto family. Lakhana is one of three seats Miss Bhutto is contesting, and it's where she chose to cast her vote today. Eleven years ago, her father was arrested here by General Zia. Today, Bhutto's daughter hoped to put the party her father created back in power. It's a great feeling to be able to vote. It's the first time I've passed my vote in a general election. So it's all the more important for me. And I only wish all the citizens in Pakistan had this right to vote. But nonetheless, even if it's only uh, half the citizens, it's still a great moment, still a great moment. After the carnival-like scenes of the last few weeks, the atmosphere today was well-ordered and calm, as people around the country enjoyed the novelty of a free vote for only the third time in Pakistan's history. The choice before them essentially one of personalities. This has been an election campaign in which issues have played very little role. Some of us who had thought that the election will be a kind of a posthumous contest between Zia and Bhutto, also found that our prediction wasn't quite right. Zia, we found, had receded from public memory very fast in that even his protégés in this Islamic Jamuri Ittihad or the IJI dropped all mention of him, obviously sensing and realizing that he could be an electoral liability. The authorities had taken unprecedented measures to prevent any outbreaks of violence. Thousands of police were dispatched to the polling stations with the army on standby ready to deal with any civil disorder. Throughout the campaign, Ms. Bhutto has emphasized the readiness of her party to work with the army if the PPP gets the people's mandate. It's very hard to predict what will happen uh, once people vote, but the indications that we have been getting so far is that the People's Party of Benazir Bhutto has a clear edge. Whether that edge gives it the necessary number of seats in the assembly to enable it to form a government, I think it's very hard to say. Nawaz Sharif, the figurehead of the alliance and Miss Bhutto's most bitter critic, was still predicting victory as he cast his vote in Lahore. Inshallah, we will form the government and we will remain together. Inshallah. If he's right, it means Pakistan will have opted for the status quo. Sharif, handpicked by General Zia to run the Punjab, is unlikely to offer much change from his mentor's policies. Tonight, party followers took to the streets as they waited for the results. For all the excitement, it may well be an election marked by apathy. Barely half the population had bothered to vote for democracy. After all the years of authoritarian rule, many believe that perhaps whoever wins, there'll be no change. Jeremy Thompson, ITN, Pakistan.